Lacrosse-based company J.F. Brennan, a century-old nationwide leader in marine environmental solutions, has forged a dynamic partnership with the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse that strengthens research, curriculum, and the company's talent pipeline for interns and graduates. Our business, like any business, is fundamentally based on the ability to recruit, train, and retain good people. To achieve this goal, a partnership with J.F. Brennan was formed through the initiative of Prairie Springs, the Paul Fleckenstein Trust, and the UWL College of Science and Health with the assistance of the Lacrosse Community Foundation. They're getting a new first class and high quality U.S. made research vessel. We had the opportunity to come over and talk about the gift of the new boat and, and, and really wanted to get their opinion on how we should be outfitting the boat and, and maybe some of the design aspects. It's going to be a great opportunity to get the technology that we use into the hands of, of kids. The research vessel Prairie Springs will offer students an experience to help better prepare them for the workforce. They come in with a great technical background on what we do, just a great understanding of geospatial data, how to analyze it, how to report it, and right now they don't come in with a lot of the sonar experience that we utilize a lot of. To meet those business needs, Brennan is entering into a new agreement with the UW Lacrosse River Study Center to help shape classroom curriculum to continue to produce top graduates, keeping Wisconsin's economy strong. They saw an opportunity and said, you know, would you like to have more dialogue about, about what we're looking for? Because there's a huge need out there for these types of students. Our partnership with UWL is really thought about in our minds as a public-private partnership. How can we work more closely with UWL and the River Studies Center to provide the experiential learning opportunities for young people so that they're not only getting the high value and first class in classroom experience, but they're taking that and they're putting that together with these opportunities to do actually what we do as an organization. However, finding appropriate learning spaces in Cowley Hall, the university's original science building built in 1966, has become difficult. If you go up to uh, one of our smaller lecture rooms, the entire floor vibrates. And so if, if there is something going on, you can feel the vibration. Uh, and it's not, it's not a minor one. I grew up in California, I know what vibrations are. <laughs> Despite the distractions in the building, UWL graduates now employed at J.F. Brennan tout their excellent education. But note, the facilities in Cowley Hall are lacking. Most of the kids get in that field because they want to go out and explore. They want to be um, hands-on in a kind of a nice setting. But doing that in a, in a place like Cowley where it's dim and dark and water spots, it's not conducive to what you're trying to learn. The Prairie Springs Science Center completion and Cowley Hall demolition project will also be a major catalyst for the UW System's Freshwater Collaborative, which is a statewide initiative to train the next generation of water researchers and establish Wisconsin as a global leader in water-related science, technology, and economic growth. The types of programs where we're doing public-private partnerships to provide the in-field learning opportunities, that only works if you have the spaces and you have the students that have the, the proper types of areas in which to learn, to take the formal knowledge and move it into the, into the field, if you will. And the completion of an outstanding building like the Prairie Springs Science Center could also be the motivation for future philanthropy. The first phase of that building project brought a $2 million endowment gift from Prairie Springs, the Paul Fleckenstein Trust, that has created important experiential learning and research opportunities for UWL students. We need classrooms that are designed well, that are flexible, and that are dynamic to really seal the deal in terms of instruction for our students.